Yo, what's up, guys? Amazing. Nice to have you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever part of the world you join us from. Nice to have you guys. Super, super, super nice. Anytime that you guys join the, this uh, recording, I'm always very excited. So comment where is your location? What location are you joining us from? Let me know what location are you joining us from. For me, I'm in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm straight out from the office talking to you guys. And I can see people from different countries around the world. Uh, Victoria from Kenya, Nairobi, or oh, Victor rather. Victor, Nairobi. What other one? What other one? Ghana. Oh, he said nice hair. Thank you very much for liking my hair. Thank you. I really wish I could see you guys too. We go Nigeria, USA, Ghana. We have Cameroon, Rwanda, I I I Ghana, U Uganda. Ah, uh, man. The, the, the location is a lot. Enugu, Badagri. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Oshima from Kenya. Fresh. Now, for those of you that are telling me that nice here, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys. Mute my phone, TND. Uh, I'm sure you guys for all you're doing. So we have people today from Malawi, Zambia, okay, wow, UAE and Malawi, the other states. Amazing. So, guys, in today's class, all I'm just going to be doing is Ukraine. Yeah. All I'm just going to be showing you guys is how I actually do trade. And I have Tochi, he trades only gold. He's also going to be showing you guys how he picks his trade. And I have Shams, US 30. He only trades US 30. He's also going to be explaining how he also actually just do trade. All right. So let's go without further ado. And it's an amazing session. So today, just going to be like action, action. So let me bring Shams first in on board. Shams, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sir Jeff. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So I, I love this I your hairstyle. Oh, thank I you. I love very your hairstyle. Thank you. I appreciate See it. See my. Oh, that's my. <laughs> and I like your beards. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. So you want, you, want, you want to take it away? All right. Um, good afternoon, guys. My name is Shams. Depending on where you're joining me, though, I'm Shams, and I only trade US thirty. So quickly, let me share my screen and, and let's see the analysis for the day. Can you see my screen? Can you see it? Yes, we can see your screen now. All right, That's guys, it. so this is what we have on US 30. Of course, US 30 has been on what a crazy move of, of lately, right? So if we are to switch our time frame on a daily frame, this is basically what I am seeing on US 30 on a daily time frame. I'm seeing an upward movement on US 30. Now, the reason why I'm seeing an upward movement on US 30 has been ranging for quite some time now, for almost right now. But then there's something that just happened, which is last week. Last week, CPI pushed and it break the strong demand area that have, that has been stopping strong resistant area that has been stopping the market for quite some time now. So, if you observe now on a daily time frame, now this chart has successfully closed below what this week rejection that has been holding the market for almost three months now. And this is more, more like a break and retest, right? So this very candlestick that is, that is coming down here is more like what a retest of, of this break region which is what the resistance and this resistance is likely going to what 
turn a demand supply. So now if we switch our time frame toward four hour time frame to confirm what daily time frame is telling us, we will still see the same thing. Because I always tell you that what daily time frame is saying. All right, you know what, Shams, your network is slowing down. What I want you to do is, you guys should come downstairs. Come. You should always be, be on work. Come downstairs, Shams. Th these guys, you should come downstairs. Like, we are currently at the office. Now the network shouldn't be this way. I, I see all of you already complaining that, that it's, 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 it's confusing. Don't worry, it's going to take it over again and crash it down for you guys. I just want to, they are coming downstairs. They are coming to where I'm at right now. So, but I'm sure the network is always better on my end. That's because I'm connected to like a 5G one. And then they are probably uh, on maybe on the lower latency in connection with the lower latency one. But they are coming downstairs now. They are coming. Tochi, where's Shams? Yeah, yeah, let them come. Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in. No, no, you want to bring him down. Let him come ASAP since he's one presenting now. Mm. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. You guys are just amazing. I like I like I like the fact that mm, people here you are focusing on the actual thing you want you guys to focus on. You're not just all over the place. On GBPUSD, I see that everything is playing out nicely. Everything is just decent. Well, it's not my turn yet. It's Sham's turn. I'll just wait for him to come downstairs and then uh we get to talk about GBPUSD when he's done. No, when Tochi is done, we get to talk about GBPUSD. Now, what thing, what we are looking to do is, we are looking to spread or uh, to share our tentacles to all different parts of, of the whole world to make sure people understand how trading works and then they can use that to fight uh, the poverty, all right? So where's Shams? All right, so what about Tochi? All right, so uh, so okay, let me share my screen then since they are here. To see some fast. Uh, okay. So now let me go ahead and end it. I just want to show you guys one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing on my chat. So with GBPUSD, I'm looking out for price. Honestly, I wouldn't even look at considering a sell option at any time. Why? These sellers are not able to cancel all the effort that these buyers have been have been in on for a long time now. So the better thing I want to look out for is I'm look, still looking, I'm still holding my buy strongly. Quite a few, or I know that price is to surge up one more time before we start dropping. It is a must, all right. So, the better thing that we have to do is to just stay on the buys and just keep holding on. You stay on the buys and then we'll keep holding on, all right. So, look for any entry, there must be another surge to the upside to around price being coming to around 1.2. This is 1.23100. This line right here, this 1.315. And then this is 1.32. I, I strongly opinion that price will get to 1.320 1 rather 320 before it starts dropping again. So I still will be holding my my my, my buy by ass until maybe this week runs out or something. Only thing that will change my decision will be a strong will be a strong bearish move. Will be a strong bearish move. According to this one. No, according to this one. No, no. So that's that's my 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 bias for today. So let me connect these guys up. Exactly that buy. Someone is also checking out the buy I'm talking about. Okay. So um, just sit on Shams. Shams, you are here. Let them say you are here. You can come here and show show show. Shams, you come here. Yeah, yeah, Shams is currently <laughs> at the office. My network is quite bad. People so... are listening that your network is always bad. They're already bashing. That's so, have to remove so I don't understand. <laughs> How are you guys? How are you guys? No worry. Yeah. Shams is getting plugged up now. <laughs> so just just a sec. I will be right there. Yeah. Turn on. Connect with this one. Uh, okay. This. Okay. Nice. Maybe you guys have got advanced technologies earlier here. 
you connect it with this one from here too. So sorry guys, we're still watching at let me just put the candle on the screen. You just pass up. Yeah. Is it done? Uh, let me check this one out. Can you do it? Oh, yeah, you do it. Okay, connect to the same one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You are coming. You are coming. Uh, you should be in, right? Hmm. You connect your. Be on the stream already. So, guys. <coughs> Now, uh, let me just explain my part. Then they will come just do this. Though this kind of man look like it's coming down, me I won't be looking at the first. Let me plot my hand of the week. Then I'll just be watching out for price to come to that zone. And then that's when I'll be looking to attack. So in order for me to plot my hand of the week, this as I always explain every week, is first to came to form for the week one two. So I'm just gonna take this where the previous one is at. I'm gonna locate the highest of either of these two. Pick the next one. Locate the lowest of either of these two. Here we've we'll got in a high low of the week. All right. So if price breaks above, it's gonna be more of price. If breaks beneath, it's gonna be more of sales. So you right right now you've seen that it's still an indecision. So candles have not successfully broken below, nor breaking above. This one I don't want to consider it as a as a break to the downside here because it's not closed. Anything still can happen. You can still go back in. You also, you guys also noticed that there was a time that this was down, right, and then went back up again. All right, so that that's it. That's that. Uh, now that price is currently here, I expect that it should it should go up. I'm looking more buys. That's what I'm just projecting from structure wise. From structure wise, but overall, let's keep watching. For me, I'll be I'll be doing the buys right now. I'll be doing more buys. Buys because even the current resistance shows us that I see a long trend, not a sell trend. So I'll be doing, I still will be doing more buys. All right. So guys, let's keep it locked in right there. Let's keep it locked in. Are you in our chance? Go ahead, guys. It's thirteen. Okay, Tochi, we are going with yours, Tochi. So I thought you would come on screen now to discuss about gold. Let's say the screen is not bright. Maybe it's your network because it's very bright on our end. The time frame I was using was four hour time frame. Was four hour time frame. Time frame I was using was four hour time frame. And now I switched to one hour and 15 minutes time frame. It was where I was to do this handle of the week. Four hour time frame. You know the time frame, you have to check this top right here. That's four hour. Then I switch to four hour, one hour to check the current trend, and then we have 15 minutes. 15 minutes get to tell us where exactly to get in. So these are the things that I'm showing you guys. All right, so it's pretty simple. Anytime that price gets to uh, the psychological level, I see handle of the week there, I see a trend line there, I shoot. That's it. And I see a chart pattern W for buys, M for sell. So that's it. Okay, so Tochi, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whichever part of the country you're tuning in from. So, um, I'm big thanks to our boss, Mr. Jeffrey Benson, for this opportunity. Okay, so let me start sharing my screen. So let's go straight into it. I think there is a news coming, but I don't know if it will be that effective, but it's a high impact news actually by 1.30. Um, so let me share my screen. <clears throat> okay. Okay. 
All right, so someone asked how you can get a valid entry. So let me just talk about that pretty quick. Since you're on 15 minutes and this has just closed this way, this will be my entry ground. Like right now, I'll be looking forward to take an entry for a buy. I'm trading on Monday, right? An entry for a buy. So this is my entry point. This box would be like an entry point for us. First, you have, I want to see a confirmation going in our direction. First, a candle that a candle confirmation going in our direction. Right, so if another bullish candle close up, I'll quickly take out this. Let me zoom in and explain. <clears throat> if a candle, a bullish candle comes out and take out this high, all right, I'll consider that as an entry for me. If can come, a bullish candle take out this previous one like this, jagging bullish candle, then I'll start buying from here. So hence, this is our entry point for those who are asking. So when you see that condition playing out already, just know that it's about time to start buying. Then your stop loss will be a little bit below this low, this low right here. Be a little bit below this low. All right. So that's what you'll be watching out for. Okay. So you're probably risking about say 20 pips to catch this much, almost 100 pips. I think it's worth it. All right. So thank you very much for those who are asking. Now, Tuchi, you can take it away. Okay, um, let me show my screen again. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, so um, guys, if you can see my screen, mm -hmm. if anyone can see my screen, let's start using the chat box here. Let's start using the chat box. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so let's do a, you know how we do it. Let's just do a quick breakdown, a quick top down analysis on gold and let's see if there is opportunity we can get to it from the market. I think there is a news coming in by 130, which is a bit high impact. This is the Empire State Manufacturing Index. We are by 130 today's Monday, 17th. So it's just like a few minutes from now, like, I mean, this from now. Let's see if we can be very quick. So let's see gold that might it's if it really would move the market that much because today is just Monday. Okay, let's let me clean the chat and let's do a quick breakdown or a quick drop down analysis. So, like I like starting from the weekly time frame so we get to understand what's happening from the bigger time frame. So I will try as much as possible to make it very easy and straight to the point. Okay. <clears throat> Like I used to say that good respect zones a lot for those that are just joining for the first time. So good respect zones a lot. So um, when it broke out of this level, yeah, it went back to replace before dropping and it created a new level, yeah, which is here, and it broke out. So we're expecting a replace. That's why throughout last week we were expecting more buys, right? So and finally good has gotten to that point. But now it fell to respect this point, and we knew that if it fell to respect this, the next point here was this, and that's why you saw the market reacted up that point and drop a bit. Remember, this is a weekly time frame. So if you go to the smaller time frame, this small move there is a bit huge on the smaller time frame. So, but there is something happening on this market now, very funny, which I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if this needs to take place, it might still spike up a bit, yeah? It might still spike up a bit, yeah? So um, let's let's go to, from the weekly time frame, since we've been able to identify this, let's also plot the ones below the next zone, because I'm expecting good start selling that's what i i am I'm, I'm to expect throughout this week but this news is acting funny that is if it comes with strong momentum then it's most likely going to spike up but if it respects our sell movement because throughout this week if the news even likes it should spike up then throughout this week i will start expecting more of sales you understand so but it is what it is let's still look at the chart and see if we can um, see other opportunities in the market so now let's go down to the daily time frame now, this is why one of the reasons why I'm saying this news might spike up a bit, but I will still show you how to play, um, play it safe, you understand? So you don't get to blow your heart and money. But you should know that if you are new to the market and you don't want to take risks, then it's best you avoid this news period and just stay away from the market like 30 minutes from now. See what it happens, you understand, and dies off. So now I want to adjust that that zone that I dropped from the weekly time frame to this one because it's more like a break. It should come back and return. But this news here, yeah, because of this pattern here that is happening here, I don't know any of you that, that might be familiar with this pattern. It's a pattern that shows that this market might buy and we are having a news coming up, right? So okay, see similar something here. You see this gold, black, gold. 
you, you, you could see, you understand? So it might still happen here that the market might push up a bit, melt down again because it's news and started going down. Because overall, we should be looking for sales for this week, yeah? Okay, because we are waiting for that retracement that will bring gold back, cover all, take out all this imbalance here, and bring gold back to this point. Okay, so from the weekly time frame, let's, um, daily time frame, let's go down to the four hours time frame. You know, it's more of top down analysis. So we're coming down from the bigger time frame down to the smaller ones. And this is a zone here. And there's a way you can do this thing so that there will not be much lines on your, your chart. You just use this. Um, this to trend line to click on shift to make it straight. Then you can even decide to write the time frame that the zone is coming from. Because most people are here, people say, I don't know the time frame this man is zone is coming from. I get confused. I you can do it like this. You see now, I can know that this this particular zone is from the four hours time frame, right? So there are different ways you can do it. Anything that makes you understand what you are doing very fine, that's good to do. Okay. So now that is that is the recent low here on. On the four hours time frame which is you know we don't trade on monday i don't trade on monday most of the time yeah but yeah it is what it is so if market should take out this low then it's when that sale is confirmed that throughout this week we should start selling 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 but if that needs to spike go up a bit you understand it might spike it up a bit then now that you now we need to do this thing then it traces back then once it takes out this way you can now do that 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 projection for the week which is sell will start happening and you know the target where you should be targeting is to get to you understand before any for interest on to the upside you understand so now this is that of the four hours let me see go to the one hour time frame to see what's happening on the market so i'll just adjust this to fit this let me adjust it a bit to fit it then i can just change the this thing so you know understand it very well okay now okay this is 122 already um let me go to this is a high highest point it just went to before this retracement that is happening and you see it's melting down already so if it gets to this point before that news then it might shoot up that that funny buy this thing that we're expecting might happen if it gets to this point before the news but if it's still at this point then there's a way you can do it so as not to but i don't know the brokers you know brokers are different there are some brokers that does not have said it's like trading or something that you can keep any others on both side but you can just stay on the safer side in case it should sell you understand if it's a pending order below this point here you understand like a sell stop of this point that is if it break because anything that makes it break this way then it's coming down that sell project and um, projection is going to happen you understand and remember this is the highest point too that the market has went to. This is the highest point. Apart from this, this is also recent high. So if market start taking out this high, take out this high, take out this high, then it's 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 going up, right? That's that is the prediction is, is going to be invalid, you understand. So you see gold is just melting down before the news. So let's still go down to the 30 minutes time frame. Let's go till we get to the lowest time frame. So if you your broker accept that. Um, trading on the both side, you understand. You can put your this thing pending order here, the sell stop here, you understand. And above here, this line here, you can see the number can be your pending order for that buy. You understand, and your stop loss in between. Make sure you calculate everything. Calculate everything. Calculate everything. The news is going to happen in the next six minutes. So good is just in, it's just choppy. You understand. That's why we, most of the time don't trade on. On Monday, you can see what's happening, no clear direction yet. So, until it breaks this high or takes out this low, that's when I would now come in on the chart and start taking trade based on what I'm seeing because we don't believe it to only that. So, let's see what, what happens next on the market. But at the same time, if you want to trade news, always do well to compare it with DXY. See what DXY because both players don't go on the same direction, they always do the opposite. If gold is buying, DXY is selling. You know, dollar index, um, XAU is a base currency, while US is a post currency. So it's, you should know why it's doing the opposite. You understand? So if, if DXY should buy them, it's going to go to sell. You understand? So always compare the both before doing your, um, taking your listing. Add it as more confirmation before taking trades. You understand? And those doing this here. And I think that's it. I think that's it. <coughs>
Thank you very much, Tochi, on that. I appreciate you very much. So, do anybody have a question regarding Tochi on Tochi's analysis? Uh, if you have any question regarding this gold trade now that like Tochi just call out. So basically, Tochi is saying that once this news, this news gets released, is anticipating it's going to be a buy because what he's predicting. Uh, so buy from this one hour low to the upside, that, and that's going to be happening about five minutes from now. This can will be closing, and the news event will be released. Let's see how that play out. All right, and uh, that's thank you very much, Shams. Are you ready now? Yeah. All right, please go ahead. Okay. 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 Are you trying to Okay. If you can, if you can see my screen and you can hear me, please kindly kindly respond on the chat box. If you can see my screen, right, and you can hear me, kindly respond. If you can see my screen, be clear. All right. So basically, this is on US thirty. You know, I only trade US thirty, and I didn't greet you guys because we were still having some little network issue. So good morning, afternoon, good night, depending on where you're joining me from. So basically what I'm seeing on US 30 is a buy. I'm not seeing a sell, even though US 30 has been ranging for almost four to five months right now. But I'm seeing a buy because clearly last week we see a clear break of all the higher time frame. The resistance now is about to turn what demand now. Now this is what I am telling you, I'm trying to say on a higher time frame, right? So this is on a daily, time frame we can see that clear by and this region where we mark now from where i just came on now this place has been what a resistance in the market for a long time but we clearly see that there was the break of this word zone on Friday, help of CPI, which happens last week. So this, this very sell that, that is coming for today, right? to continue the trend because you know that, okay, the chart doesn't just go and start moving straight, right? The market doesn't just go and start moving straight from 100 pips, 200 pips, and 300 pips. So now that we've seen that, okay, the market has clearly break structure on what daily time frame. Because we want to get the exact accurate entry, we need to switch our time frame on one hour time frame. Now I'm on a one hour time frame right now, and you can see that okay, this impulsive, some of you would like to call it, is coming here. The drop that is dropping right now here is more like a retracement of what this move to what continue the downtrend. Because you see from this place or up until here, which is about 950 people is still what going up. So I will what, use some tools that will confirm the direction. And I always advise you to use your feed level. Now I will want to use my feed level and then get it from and 0 0.5. Started since last week. While the five is what? Retracement of 50% of the what move that happens what throughout last week. Now, what am I going to pay attention to when price? I said 
I'm paying attention to 0.38. Anything that happens on 0.38 is a zone. 0 .5 is a zone. So because I'm paying attention to zone, I will want to know the reaction approach this 0.38. Is it leaving weak rejection? Is it leaving doji? Or is it leaving bullish engulfing? Because we are all looking for buy. If it didn't leave, and then it managed to break password, 0.38 i still pay attention to 0.38 and 0.5 which they are the main two fib level we use if they are falling on psychological level it's a strong additional confidence for us so for example now you see the the fib i just drew now is on what the 0.38 is on what cycle level which is 3 for 300 likewise the 0.5 is also on side level which is 3 for 100 so it makes the two position to be very very valid in the sense that now once price would reach our, our 0 0.38 here now, we would switch our time frame to what 15 minute time frame and pay attention to what can still see the action, what I, I just mentioned now. When price is 0 0.5 and would still replicate the same attention that we will pay, nothing is setting in this market. Right, we can only do analysis, but nothing is certain. Analysis is not hundred percent certain. So it means that if the market or this sell now manage to would break 0 0.38, 0 0.5, so it means that it's still what going to dip down more. So our bias will change from what buy now to sell. But for now, I'm watching now for and I'm looking out for what strong buy to continue the direction in the market. Uh, 0 0.34. 400, 3, 4, 400, this is where the market is currently toward 3, 4, 3, 4, 300. It's like 100 pips. So are we going to let the 100 pips just slide if you're seeing a downtrend? No. Once it's 230 and clear confirmation with the help of CNBC and the rest, we're going to short the market to write it down towards 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. So now it will be on a safer side to what confirm everything that I've been saying on what smaller time frame because we are day traders we don't trade on what one hour time frame our entry is not on one hour time frame rather our entry should be on what 15 minute time frame and it's on 15 minute time frame you're going to pay attention to all those weak rejection doji indecision and then bullish engulfing even though sometimes when there is a bullish engulfing on us 30 it means that the move is gone already so this is what i am seeing on what 15 minutes time frame this is what our market is down to what our first zone is almost 180 pips then from where the market is to our next zone is almost 300 pips so we pay attention to what a flash down which may happen anytime from 2 p.m 2 30 p.m and upward because that's when the market is very very active and volatile so you just Just mark this position, go get your feed level in your chart and mark this word position, pay attention to them. Then implement what we just did now. So if you have any question, based any question, I will stop sharing my screen right now. If you have any question based on what I just discussed, you can um, you can ask questions. You just know, you just need to understand that US 30 is very, very volatile very very volatile so you need to be very careful you need to be very careful you need to you need to be very very careful of everything you're doing on us study because it's very volatile your stop loss should be a maximum of uh, 50 pips right when the market goes 50 pips against you you know that you're wrong automatically when it goes 50 pips against you you're wrong so there's no need of you having multiple uh shifting your stop loss because i've seen a lot of people now you put your stop loss and when markets start going against you now you will be shifting don't be like don't be like me in three years ago because if you be like me three years i will be shifting my stop loss back to back one more we will all go back to bledge so if you have any question you can quickly ask me on the comment section if you have any question on us 30 anything you want to know on us 30 you can quickly ask me yes Okay. So what is saying I've collected network provider. 
No, it's not my system. It's not my system. It's not from my system. The network issue is actually not from my system. Why do I so much love US that it does? Because that's the peer that gives me a whole lot of money, right? <laughs> yeah, so. So any more question? Any more question, guys? Okay, if there's no question, we call it a day. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. So uh, amazing, nice to have you guys still in, in here. Um, I'm sure you guys are learning the tone of things from Shams and Tochi today. So let me talk about a little bit something before I leave. Trading this period is one of the best times to start trading. I've heard many people talk about this is not the best time to trade, this is not the best to trade. So maybe somewhere around, somewhere around the beginning of the year, people will say it's not the best time to trade. Somewhere around remember, like September, October, November, this is not a better time to trade because most people are going on vacation in Valley. But now I'm telling you, this is the best time to trade. So you cannot stick in on one direction of the market and you just keep going through it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then you definitely will hit it hard. So this was the trade that I said. Now you notice that this trade you shouldn't be in yet. I said the only way you're going to get in is when a candle come out and covers this buy candle. I mean, cover all this candle. That's when the criteria will complete. Right, if I'm bullish aggressive, can you come cover this one and then be in on a buy? So, this candle now I see out. So, people really have to understand each time I send signal in a group and I put things around and I keep the condition wait for a bullish candle to close above this high before you get in. All right, so it is important you have to understand this level. But I see that there is there's a resistance somewhere around here. Sorry, there's a support somewhere around here. So, price will, it will definitely want to push back up it's an amazing thing it's an amazing thing so for those who are still struggling learning how to thinking on how can i learn forex trading i mean search no more because we've got you covered at firepipsfx.com so tochi shams people in the city just spoke to you right now and they are also educators at firepipsfx.com all you have to do is just come here to firepipsfx.com and click on register so right here you can register in yearly six months and the monthly and if you want money you already learned how to trade you want money to trade this is consumertraders.com. So this is consumertraders.com website to get funded. Any any amount of money that you choose, you will pay this refundable fee. Let's say for example, you want a hundred thousand dollars account, you pay four ninety nine, four ninety nine. Pass phase one, pass phase two. Now no minimum trading days, and there is no duration. It's no longer sixty days. You can trade this phase one as long as you can, as long as you keep the tools. Most important tool, which is massive loss and mass loss, you can keep it on as long as you want all right so we have the express flight but you only have one face all right so you can trade it okay for two months on the express life then the express pro you can just trade it as long as you want to as well as intensive is an amazing one again that's 30 is always 30 30 days all right so thank you i'm sure you guys really got, got value from today's class uh i'm pretty much uh i'm a little bit dizzy right now yeah uh I definitely will be back strong in a couple of minutes so tomorrow I expect my signal in the channel if you want to be a part of the channel use the link in the description box to be a part of the channel where to you be sending his signals shams too and as well as jeff me just just be sending my own signal thank you very much for coming out again uh can you get funded when you're based in qatar yes people all will get funded please can i buy three four hundred k account and merge them together the maximum money you can have is 600,000. So you can buy 400k on one and buy 200k on one. But you can have other ones, just trade them and pass them and keep, but you will not be funded. Maybe if I need one other one, bring the other one out and start trading. Yes, it is possible for you to make a count when you send messages to the support. When am I doing discounts on my membership, Jeff? Uh, I don't think no more discount right now because we have too much value for what we are offering. We have more educators yet we are not with no increased price we have more curriculum we have more activities going on we have more engagement going on and price is really simple i mean that's right now the price that it's, which is that is already a signal it's already sorry uh it's already at the discount so pretty soon will be increasing that's for sure i'm telling you we'll be increasing the amount not because we just want to increase because of the more value we've added we want to get the best of the best to learn this whole thing and make the most results in the shortest period of time 
So everybody, if you have a question regarding consumer, please direct that to the support. Who are saying that the support is not responsive? Don't worry, I will make sure I put a call through to them. They will be responsive now. I see someone saying that the support is not responsive. I put a call to the team that is responsible for that, and they will do up their game regarding that. But trust me, guys, they are really doing their best, and I will make sure that they offer even way more than what they are doing, and they keep pushing harder. All right, so thank you guys for coming out today. Amazing. Please do not blow your account. The only thing you should do is blow your mind. All right. Bye, guys, and keep it simple.